going to drop anchor. I stayed in Samson Inlet last night. I'm going to spend tonight in here as well. And um, just a little tip when you're looking for a place to anchor, it's super important that you make sure wherever you end, wherever you end up, you're going to be on a flat, level surface. One of the easiest ways to lose your boat up here is um, <clears throat> by not being careful where you anchor. Every time I look for a spot, I do a little grid pattern and I make sure there's no big holes or rocks. Um, this is applicable, of course, if you're going to be parking up somewhere where there's a chance that the water's going to run out. So, looking good now, three and a half meters. We may keep enough water underneath us tonight that we don't touch the bottom because we are on neaps and it's a three and a half or four meter um, tide running. But most important thing is it's a flat bottom and it's flat for a good 50 meters either way. So no matter where I swing, as the wind shifts around, I'm gonna be able to um, make sure I come down on a flat piece of mud or sand or whatever the case may be underneath us. And then we're done. The other important thing is to make sure you have your anchor uh, locked off so you don't have that sliding reverse uh, retrieve system if you've got that on your anchor um, you don't have that when you do turn around in the tide and you will uh, every six hours um, you're going to pull your anchor out and head off the opposite direction so just make sure it's in the lock position and you can't slide it out so this looks good here I'll um, I'll drop anchor here, three and a half meters of water, nice big flat area, and spend another night in this beautiful little spot at Samson Inlet.